Hi folks, so this should be a little bit of fun. I have here a fan that I made about three and a half years ago. And the purpose behind this design was basically to keep the fan as simple as possible. Now I've used sheet plastic, uh, which is styrene plastic. I've been a kind of a, a hobbyist model maker for quite a number of years now. And I figured, why don't I have a bash at making a simple impeller, which is what I've done here. Now, what I'm hoping to glean from using this fan is what a fan's performance is like when it is as unoptimized as possible. And we can compare the performance of this fan against the ones that we've already tested and see what happens. So this is the barn door fan on the chamber doing some pressure testing. As you can see, we're currently sitting at about two pas uh, yeah, two pascals, two and a half pascals maybe. I have the fan set to 7.2 volts, which is what gave me the speed that I needed for the test. And currently it is in position two with the first valve closed by one increment. I'll keep running through these and I'll add it to the existing graph and we'll see how it does. The pressure test results are pretty much what you would expect from an unoptimized fan. However, when you look at the high end of the graph, the performance is actually quite respectable. Let's have a look at the thermal performance. Okay, so this is the barn door fan running its test on the cooler, same as all the fans before it. I've been keeping an eye on the intake temperature. It's currently a little bit higher. It's edging its way towards 23 degrees. And I have the voltage set at 8.15, which gives me that target speed of 1600 RPM. Let me just show you just now. If I get a quick reading from that, uh, we have just over 1600 RPM. Now, if we go over to the test, we can see that the maximum temperature so far has been 74 degrees. That might go up a little bit, but this is a very respectable average. Um, test is still running. I'll be stopping it in just a couple of minutes. And the other thing I want to point out is if you go to AIDA64 on the sensor values, you get a really helpful power value for the CPU which tells you what kind of TDP you're dealing with. So like I've said in my previous tests, it's anything from 170 to 175 watts. This is a high CPU load. And if I look at this thermometer up here, this is my thermometer quite high up above the PC, which gets very toasty indeed because of the exhaust air from the cooler. But I do not factor this reading into the test results because it really doesn't matter. What matters is the temperature of the air going into the heatsink. Now this is pretty much the same again, although the performance is actually better than two of the existing fans. And unfortunately for our friend the A12X25, it's not doing so well against the fan that's made from sheet plastic. What this shows, like I kind of anticipated, is that you can still have adequate cooling, even with something as basic as it gets. So there you have it. Uh, quite interesting, I think. Now, before I end this short video, I'm going to show another impeller that I made more recently. I made this about a week ago. And the purpose behind this one was simply how much performance loss can be attributed to having fewer blades on the impeller. Now, there's a technical term in fan design for what's happening here. It's called the solidity ratio. And in simple terms, it's basically the ratio between the space in the frame that is filled with the fluid and the space that's filled with the impeller. So this is quite a high solidity ratio impeller here and this is a very low solidity ratio impeller. 
I'm not going to test the performance of this one just yet. And what I will say as well is that it's definitely more optimised because I've made the impeller blades longer and curved at the top. But what I will do is I will show you a clip of the impeller uh, on the heatsink and you might get a kick out of what it sounds like. Anyway, that's a little bit of fun for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.